Hello, this is Luis. It is currently uh, 9.41 a.m. in the morning. I just woke up, honestly. Oh, my voice. Alright, well, hello, Mr. Good morning. Well, I am about to talk about the molecule CBRF3, currently known as Halen 1301. The molecule's facts can be... It can be toxic, affecting the central nervous system. It can deplete this Earth's atmosphere of the ozone layer when released. It doesn't produce the characters in white clouds like CO2. Next, the molecule's history. Halen 1301 was developed in a virtue between the U.S. Army and the deponent in 1954. In the 60s, it was used around valuable materials such as aircraft, mainframes, computers, and telecommunication devices. Molecule, the molecules, actually, let me get back there. Uh, Halen 1301 is actually fairly new compared to most molecules. Um, this was pretty much found in the 60s, 1960s, 1950s, and... Um, it's one of the most fairly new molecules out there. We don't know much of it, but this is so far what we know. One of the functions of this uh, molecule is that it uh, fire it fire suppressions, and it was used in refrigerations. Meaning, uh, there are three things to start a fire. Obviously, the fuel, oxygen, ignition source. Halen brings this breaks the chain reaction and stops the reaction of all three. Oops, my bad. Alright. Here is my uh, Lewis dot structure. As you can see, the reason these are all covalent bonds, meaning that they share a bond. F, for example, has a valence of a valence electron of seven. B for BR has a valence electron of 7. Also, carbon actually has a valence of electron of 4, meaning they can have 4 bonds. So, covalent means non-metals uh, coming together. Yeah, non-metals like becoming, like coming together. Oh, my head hurts. Alright, so there's 4 bonds, 3 polar, 1 non-polar. The 1 non-polar is actually carbon with barium. Meaning that their electrogravity, if you like subtract each other, is actually 0 0.41, and that's nonpolar. And then carbon with fluorine is actually 1.34, meaning that it is polar because to be polar, you, it has to be between 0 0.5 to 2.0 in order to become a polar covalent. What does this mean? It could be a bad conductor of electricity, it can dissolve in water. Um, and it can be a net dipole. <clears throat> so what is the dangers uh, of halene 1301? Actually, it could cause frostbite. If it's high con con concentrated of halene, can create an oxygen this uh, this uh, deficiency environment. This can cause lack of oxygen, meaning lack of oxygen going to the brain. That can cause brain cells to be damaged, which could have possible complications, including uh, lungs infections. You could get a stroke, traumatize. Uh, your brain would be unable to breathe on its own, and um, your heart could start beating irregularly. Meaning, like, escaping the beat. And then, here are my sources. I'm um, gonna just have to... Thank you, and have a nice day.